Dynamic drawing has really changed my life because I grew up in a home where my father used to rip up my drawings and tell me that unless I could do maths I wouldn't get on in life. And I was in my 40s before I even was brave enough to take up a pencil or pen. And I moved up to this area from Sydney about 12 years ago and found dynamic drawing. And Ron has just been a healer of my soul. Yeah. He really has. Yeah. And uh, he's just brought me out and he's helped me to, to believe in myself. And, and I find expressionistic art is just where I'm at and it expresses a lot of what happens inside me. And it's just been terrific. I started dynamic drawing when I finished uni, which was about 2000. Yeah. This class? This class. Oh, yeah. good. So it's quite a while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's grown? It's generally speaking, there's a momentum, yeah. It's probably grown since we came back from Melbourne, it's definitely got bigger. Like, there's more people seem to be interested. Yeah. So, the people I was talking to last week, they talk about the community that you've created, like how important that is to them. There's the art, but there's also the community yeah. that, that they've built, that you've built, that you've created, that they feel like it's a very important part of their life. Yeah, I, I think um, when you've got like a group of people all working together, um, there's input and that gives it momentum and people can learn from each other. Often people come in and they'll sit, you know, they've been working on their kitchen table or on their bedroom floor for the last two years or five years or something going crazy, not getting anywhere. But when they have exposure to a group, that group can provide tools and strategies to increase their opportunities and it generates energy, yeah, for sure. So you've got a strong, powerful style there, I've noticed. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks. To, honestly, I didn't, I didn't even know I could do that until I came to this class. So, oh, wonderful. Yeah, I uh, was always really tight at university and um, sort of being taught how to draw rather than let myself just draw. Go, so, yeah. um, so Ron's been the opener. Yeah, absolutely. He was just like, just let go. And I was like, all right. <laughs> and now, yeah, now I've got a studio in um, Centennial Circuit. Fantastic. Yeah. So, Far out. So are you a regular? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I and, definitely so. <laughs> yeah. And do you, are you work, working now for like exhibitions and stuff? Yeah, yeah. I had an exhibition um, two nights ago at the Beach Hotel. And, Fantastic. Um, yeah, it was great. Part of Raw Art Exhibition. And it was wow. so, it was just... Well, you've yeah, blasted really I know. Fast. It's been a really weird seven months, like all of a sudden just, yeah. But no, I'm loving it. Yeah, Far really out. It. Does this class feed you artistically too? Yeah, for sure. That you know, when I, I mean, I wouldn't. I never come into this hall or any of the venues that I work in with a plan. Um, what I come in here is with an open slate, an open mind. Um, the the questions that are raised, the dialogues that um, eventuate, are coming off the tables and from the people in the room. If I'm looking at the work then I'm reading the tables and they're the questions that come up on the day. So you've got to keep it on a contemporary level so that, so that, um, so that you get a much more kind of um, s stronger, more expanded creativity, which you won't get if you go in there with a pretty positive plan because already that's, that's an expectation, that's an assumption about what's going to happen on the day. So you've got to energetically feed in and feed out all the time. So you've got to keep you know, the lines of communication open and um, give people plenty of space. I was coaxed into coming to uh, Ron by my daughter, who's a better artist than I am, um, to loosen up. And um, it's, worked, it's worked a treat, really. I, I've changed the way I paint and draw now, so I really, um, really quite enjoy it. it. Here you can let yourself go and, and you know, just sort of, I suppose, uh, you know, find, find out where you're going. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, it's not so much about the end result with Ron, is it? No, no, well, the end result doesn't matter, but, no. you know, sometimes you can do some things in here and you look at them a few days later, you think, wow, you know, that... Where was I? Yeah, yeah. that's fantastic. Yeah, and, and, uh, very important. It is, yeah. it is, so, yeah. most enjoyable. Yeah, that's great. When yeah. we ask each time the head changes, if there's no, no difference, so coming up, it's a question of commitment,
So do you see a great difference in your teaching? Teaching's a yeah. wrong word. Facilitating. Facilitating. facilitating then say the guy down the road who's kind of like teaching people to draw a jug as um, a jug. I think um, what we're trying to work with here is um, to uh, offer people their own structures back again because a lot of people have been disenfranchised um, by culture and that kind of hijacking is very subtle and it's very continuous and um, so we're not, off, we're not teaching a craft, a patterned idea of drawing, we're actually looking at drawing as you would look at the history of art which is a history of difference and um, it's actually a philosophy, um, it's an emergent philosophy, it's not a still life, it's not life drawing, it's not this or that, it's actually a forum for people to actually have the opportunity to recognise um, their experience um, and we're using visual language as a vehicle. So dynamic drawing is an ongoing experiment into um, people's uh, I guess their most intimate realities, which are usually their most strong ones, um, to have that kind of sense of recognition so they don't feel waylaid or sidetracked or feel somehow that they don't, uh, they're not up to scratch. Mm -hmm. So that's what has always been, that's what's evolved over the years here and in Melbourne. What I love about this class is the opportunity to respond dynamically and sustainably. It's, it's the scales on the piano, the, the practice of looking, seeing, doing, but I see the people that come here from all walks of life, mm. uh, be they in their 70s or just students who, who are you know, below 20 um, and who are able to come and gain something and feel really lifted by the experience. Yeah. But recognising during this, um, during the dialogues and during the strategies, um, the opportunities they uh, create uh, if, if you hit a wall or you become in some way uh, limited or uh, precious to that, so these are giving you uh, a kind of lever through. We're actually talking about drawing, we're not necessarily talking about drawing pictures yeah. or creating an object or creating a product or um, we're not trading in some sort of currency of approval or, or the idea of um, to sell a painting or you know to get a patent back so it's about looking for um, people to genuinely discover uh, their creativity in as uh, in as pure and as uncoerced way as possible um, and dynamic drawing has emerged as that vehicle, it's a pl it's a place to draw. Yeah. It's a place to learn um, and to increase people's horizons and to work on every level, not to just dangle people out on a vanishing point or an assumed uh, perspective. Because the minute you assume a perspective or you say this is a comfortable place to be, that's the day your practice ends. You know, it's just it's you know you really need to to be in a state of constant and, and high curiosity when you know when you're when you're working here. Yeah. Yeah. As an artist, as a drawer, um, it's been very inspiring because on the one hand, um, I never really took like like I said formal formal art or drawing classes or anything like that. Um, so it's given me that form that medium to express myself and to be able to do it freely and to just play with it really. Yeah. Um, People evolve. I've seen From a lot of coming. people evolve. I've seen a lot of people really get their confidence and really get in touch with who they are and come out with some of the most amazing results from some of the most ambiguous and self-deprecating, you know, <laughs> dialogue where they've come in and practically begging to say, can they come and draw because they have been panned out there. You know, they've had this, this history of being sort of, um, you know, um, hit over the head by someone. And so it's really good to, to, to go to a bigger beat within them. So structure, 
when we talk about structure, a lot of people come in and say, oh, but it's not a proper drawing class, that what you're doing there isn't, um, it's not legitimate, it doesn't meet with the tradition, it absolutely meets with the tradition of the history of art, because the history of art has always been um, a, a history of change and a history of emergence, and, and that's been done by individuals who have met, contemporary, met the contemporary condition, mm. and the contemporary condition can vary from one person to the next, so mm -hmm. it's, it's that movability that creates, um, creates a class, I think. Class is a funny word. Yeah. It's almost colonial. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether we can put that. Looks good with him. <laughs> I'm very concerned.